We are children of stars. Everything we know, the earth, the sun, even you and me, came from stars. This is the story of our planet Earth and its incredible journey from a fiery world to the beautiful paradise we live in today. It all started about five billion years ago, when our sun was just a baby star. Swirling around this tiny sun was sparkly gas and dust, like specks of glitter. This dust swirled and stuck together, making bigger lumps that turned into planet. One of almost a hundred such lumps was our very own planet, Earth. At this time, Earth was like a gigantic, fiery playground. Imagine a massive ball of super hot, bubbling rock. The temperature was a whopping thousand degrees Celsius. That's hotter than a dragon's breath. Back in the early days, our planet wasn't alone. A smaller protoplanet, Tia, was right there, keeping Earth company in its cosmic neighborhood. These two planets were on the same track, speeding like race cars. They got pulled together by the mighty force of gravity, and bam, they crashed into each other. The crash was so powerful, it vaporized giant chunks of both planets and flung huge amounts of debris into space. After that epic collision with Tia, debris and rubble swirled around our planet for many years. These bits and pieces gradually clumped together, forming Earth's loyal friend, the Moon. But the Newfound Moon hangs out so close that we practically share a cosmic blanket. Since the formation, Earth just had a crazy spin. One day on Earth was not 24 hours, but just 6 hours. Slowly, as the Earth cooled down, it spun gradually slowed. But the adventures on Earth had just begun. 3.9 billion years ago, Earth had a bombardment of meteor shower that lasted for 20 million years. These special meteors brought minerals and water to Earth, the most important elements to create life. Even though Earth was still really hot from the inside, the outside layer started to cool down into a rocky surface. The moon was still close to Earth. Its strong gravitational pull gave birth to crazy high waves and huge hurricanes. Seven hundred million years after the meteor shower, Earth finally calmed down a bit. While Earth was getting ready for life, the outside air was still very hot and toxic. In the space, more meteors travel to Earth, bringing important ingredients like carbon and minerals. Deep beneath the ocean's surface, mysterious underwater vents spewed forth a magical mix of minerals and chemicals. This concoction was like a cosmic potion for life, kickstarting a grand transformation.
Slowly but surely, the oceans filled with tiny single cell bacteria, the first life forms on Earth. These microscopic pioneers thrived in the deep blue, dancing to their own ancient rhythm. Meanwhile, in the sun kissed shallows, something extraordinary happened. Small, mound like structures called stromatolites emerged. These ancient bacteria were true sun worshippers, harnessing sunlight through a magical process called photosynthesis. They released oxygen into the water and air, changing the game forever. Earth's spin even slowed down, making our days longer. As if that weren't enough, tiny volcanic islands decided to join forces, forming a colossal supercontinent named Rodinia. But this supercontinent was very dangerous in nature. Solid landform kept moving and millions of volcanoes erupted everywhere, filling the atmosphere with greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide. The rocky mountains soaked up these gases like sponge, and temperature of the planet dropped to minus 50 degrees. This made Earth super cold. Ice began to form everywhere. For the next 200 million years, Earth looked like a giant snowball. When finally ice melted, our oceans were full of oxygen. This magical gas gave life to tiny ocean floor plants, and soon entire oceans began to look like beautiful underwater gardens. Different types of tiny and massive creatures emerged, like trilobites who wiggled their way through the water like cosmic party goers. Or Anima Locaris, a giant two-footed shrimp with razor-sharp teeth and enormous eyes. Around 460 million years ago, Earth's continents decided to play a game of Tetris. All the continents snuggled up and formed a supercontinent called Gondwana. The atmosphere was like a superhero shield packed with ozone. The ozone layer protected life from the sun's harmful radiation. Lush forests sprouted everywhere, filling the air with extra oxygen. And the land was populated by mega-sized animals and insects. Meganora, a dragonfly as big as an eagle. Scutrosaurus, a herbivorous relative to turtles and Gorgonopsia, a huge predator, as scary as dinosaurs. But the land life was short-lived. Intense volcanic eruptions turned this carnival to chaos. Lava buried everything in sight, triggering a global extinction event. The atmosphere choked on sulfuric acid and methane gases, leaving life gasping for breath. This event was known as the Permian-Triassic Extinction, the ultimate plot twist in Earth's blockbuster story. After a whopping 200 million years of fire and rain, the planet began to heal. Plants and animals staged a triumphant comeback on the newly formed colossal landmass known as Pangaea. Now begins the time when colossal creatures rule the world. Welcome to the age of dinosaurs. Dinosaurs of all shapes and sizes, stomping, soaring, and swimming, roaming the landmass and ocean alike. For 165 million years, they ruled the planet unchallenged. Until a giant asteroid, bigger than a Mount Everest, zoomed towards Earth. 
When the asteroid struck Earth, it unleashed energy equivalent to a million nuclear bombs. The impact sent debris and dust soaring into the sky. The sun hid behind a thick curtain of dust. Earth turned into a sweltering furnace, scorching everything in its path. And without plants to keep the ecosystem in balance, the mighty era of dinosaurs slowly faded away. It's like the grand finale of a prehistoric blockbuster. A fiery end to an epic chapter in Earth's story. As the dust settled, Earth began its grand makeover. Plants grew again. The air was warm, and days were a comfortable length. In the new world, mammals became the dominant species. Continents shifted further, and the beautiful mountain range of Himalayas formed, with the tallest mountain of the planet, Mount Everest. Our early human ancestors, the Homo erectus, stepped up. Curious and brave, they explored their changing world. They mastered the art of hunting and used fire. Now, the fire wasn't just for marshmallow roasts. It kept them warm, cooked their meals, and sent predators packing. Even though everything seemed calmer, Earth is a force of change. Powerful storms raged across the land, and before no time, another ice age covered the globe. This time, it wasn't as bone-chillingly brutal, but it still gave the giant mammoths a frosty challenge. Some of them are still frozen solid, like ancient ice sculptures. Humans took shelter in caves and survived the brutal cold. After billions of years of upheaval, life on Earth kept going. The story of our planet is all about how life has adapted and survived against the odds. The air we breathe, the oceans we sail, and the forests we explore, they're all chapters in this awe-inspiring adventure story. So here's to endurance, resilience, and the remarkable journey of our blue and green home, Earth.